Hey y'all, my name is Crystal Brown and I am so excited to share this week with you guys. This week's devotional is going to come out of John 18 all the way to 19 verses 42. It is a ton to read and unpack, so I'm not going to read everything, but I would encourage you to read this on your own. Um, so the story starts out where Jesus is betrayed and arrested in the garden and the Roman soldiers are coming um, to confront him. And in verse four, it says, Jesus fully realized all that was going to happen to him. So he stepped forward to meet them. Who are you looking for? He asked, Jesus the Nazarene, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. And as Jesus said, I am he, they all drew back and fell to the ground. Once more, he asked them, who are you looking for? And again, they replied, Jesus the Nazarene. I told you that I am he, Jesus said. And I just picture these cocky soldiers walking up to the garden thinking that they are just going to make another arrest of some random guy. Um, so when they first are asked the question, I feel like they were just, I'm looking for Jesus. But then when they step into the presence and they come face to face with him, I feel like their tone had to have changed. So when they were asked the question again, who are you looking for? It was more of a, like a proclamation of Jesus of Nazareth, like declaring who he was. Because I feel like when you come into the presence of the Lord, your whole demeanor has to change. You can't walk in and walk out um, the same person. So I just believe that when they had this encounter with him, that that everything about their tone had to shift. And so Jesus is ultimately captured and he's taken to the priest for, um, for questioning. And then Peter denies Jesus three times, even though he said that he wasn't going to. And then Jesus is tried before Pilate and standing there in front of his people and they're yelling and shouting that they want him to be crucified and they'd rather have Barabbas instead. And um, So Jesus is ultimately sentenced to death. Um, and so they take him into the back and they beat him and they put a crown of thorns on his head. And so this leads us to the crucifixion. So Jesus is taken away. This is verse 17. Carrying the cross by himself, he went to the place called the place of the skull. There they nailed him to the cross. And then the story tells you about the, the other men that were crucified next to him and how Jesus looks down and he sees his mother and he tells the disciple that he loved, dear woman, here is your son. Um, and then he said, here is your mother. And then Jesus knew that his mission was now finished and to fulfill scripture, he said, I'm thirsty. A jar of sour wine was sitting there. So they soaked the sponge and put it to his lips. And when Jesus had tasted it, he said, it is finished. I'm just reading this thinking about like how traumatic this whole scene had to be and we can gloss over it and think that you know this was just a brief moment in Jesus's life I mean it all plays out in two chapters and often we go through our own issues and we feel like you know nobody understands how long I've been in suffering and nobody understands how long I've been hurting and I just believe in reading this you know Jesus carrying the cross by himself he probably wasn't thinking you know, this is just gonna be over in a couple of verses, probably thinking how much longer do I have to endure this? How much longer, how much further do we have to go? And I just wanted to encourage you that when you're in those moments, when you're questioning, if anybody feels your pain and your suffering, the Lord does um, and, and he sees you and he's been there and he knows your hurt and your pain. And the promise at the end of this is that it is finished. So whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that has you bound by this season of life, the Lord sees you and he, um, he took care of everything for you. And that promise is that it is finished.